All right, I have just a very short video I want to share with you today. It's all about rechargeable batteries. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, just before we begin, a couple of things. First, I want to thank the company HiQuick for reaching out to me and offering to send me a set of rechargeable batteries and a battery charger to go with it. Now, there's a backstory to this. When they offered it to me, I hadn't been looking for anything like this. In fact, it wasn't even something that was on my radar. But as I gave it some thought, a couple of things came together. I've reviewed a few flashlights lately that have built-in batteries, batteries that cannot be accessed and replaced. And I know how that frustrates many of you. In fact, it frustrates me as well. I like the concept of a rechargeable battery because it is economical, convenient, and environmentally sound. You're not throwing away other batteries. But if you can't access it, you can't replace it. And eventually, all batteries wear out no matter how good a quality they are. So I looked for a few flashlights that I could review for you based on batteries that were replaceable, AA and AAA type batteries, because that was another request is some simple f uh, flashlights with simpler batteries, not the, the bigger lithium ion ones. But then came back the problem of tossing out those AA and AAA batteries. So the timing was, was when HiQuick reached out and said, would you be interested in taking a look at our product? I thought, actually, it fits ideally with what I was dealing with at the time. All right, so that's the backstory for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you down to the table, show you very quickly what it is they sent me, tell you about my experiences with it, and then we'll close the video out. Very quickly, I'll share with you what came with the box. So this is the box that everything came in, the charger and the batteries and the cable. Let me put that aside. Also in the box, of course, is the instruction and, and warranty information, this small, tiny pamphlet type manual. This is the charging station that they sent with me. It is an eight bay charging station, meaning you can recharge up to eight batteries simultaneously. And each one of the bays is designed so it'll fit either a AAA or a AA. And yes, you can mix them together, AAAs and AA's, because it is an intelligent battery. You do also get this cable. Now, here's what's kind of interesting. The cable they sent is a micro USB, not USB type C charging cables. A little surprised by that, where most flashlights you, you buy today and most electronics will you use the slightly faster USB type C charging. However, when you look at the port, it is actually built to accept either the micro USB or USB type C charging. Now I will tell you it is no faster than the micro so it won't uh, benefit from the extra speed the USB type C or the extra current the USB type C might offer it. And no you can't <laughs> use both cables at the same time to double up your charge it won't work like that. So what you can't see here underneath is a, a, a very simple LED display to display the charging of each battery and when it will uh, be full that type of thing. And yeah, it's just, it's a, an intelligent charger in the sense that it can recognize exactly the type of battery that you're using and how long it will take to charge and display that across the top. All right, so put those out of the side. What I can say about it, I guess, is the build quality simple. It's, there's not a lot to these things, right? I, I don't have experience comparing it against other types of chargers, so I really can't tell you anything that way, but I can say it is appears to be a quality charger, works the way it's intended to, what more can you ask? Let's get to the batteries. So here are the batteries that were sent to me. As I mentioned, they normally include four of the double A's, where in fact they gave me eight of the double A's and eight of the triple A batteries. So I did keep one each out to show you from the packs. I actually have a couple in flashlights right now. I'll go over the types of batteries they are very quickly because this is actually the discussion I want to have is about the type of battery. So this is the double A battery. It is a 2800 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery. So that's important. And here is the AAA. It is an 1100 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery. So when it comes to the types of rechargeable batteries that are out there, there's a number of technologies. This type, the nickel metal hydride, has been around for some time. I think it's uh, 
it's it's well designed and and it works right but most people would think well why not just move over to lithium ion that seems to be what you get in your phones and and in the flashlights the larger rechargeable batteries are all lithium ion they pack more punch they hold more power aren't they better wouldn't they be better in this type of battery well that's a question i didn't have an answer for to be quite honest so i did a little research online and i came across a video from a, a person whose opinion i just totally trust and he did the experiments that i would have liked to have done but he has both the experience and the equipment to do these experiments now many of you if you're into flashlights phones banks power banks and solar panels and all that type of thing are likely aware of them the channel is hobo tech and and uh, yeah it, it's it's Kind of a funny channel to watch in terms of the way he does his reviews, but man, he's spot on with his information. So he compared nickel metal hydride batteries with lithium ion batteries and ran them all through a number of tests. And to make it as fair as possible, he bought batteries from the same company who offered both species, if you will, nickel metal hydride and lithium ion. I'll give you the short outcome in that he feels that their, the lithium ion batteries are not worth the extra expense. One, you're going to pay more for the initial setup. In other words, the purchase of the batteries are going to cost you more and they don't hold their charge as well. So that's, you know, and of course, the third factor is how many charges can you get out of a battery? So, yes, it is true. Each of these batteries don't hold as much in terms of power, milliamp hours, as a lithium ion will but it doesn't seem to matter. They still last longer in all the devices he tested. So I was happy with his results. I can't reproduce them, but I will put a link to his video if you're interested in all the technical aspects of what he did to test the batteries out and how he came to those conclusions. Now, here's my personal experiences with it. I did most of my testing with the AAA, and what I did is I took three AAAs and I put them in one of my older headlamps that runs off of three AAA alkaline batteries. And the flashlight or the headlamp is rated to run four hours with a standard alkaline batteries. And I used Duracells to test this out. And uh, yeah, that ran about four hours on the alkaline batteries. I got three and a half hours out of this. That's pretty impressive when you think about it because alkalines are known for their long run times. And the only problem, of course, is, is once the run time is done, you toss the battery. And that's something we don't like to do. Environmentally, it's just not right. And actually, economically, it's not right either. You will get much more value out of a rechargeable battery like this because it will have multiple life cycle charges that you can uh, count on and of course it gets cheaper you pay a little bit more right up front for the battery but over the life of the battery you're going to get much better economics out of perch out of using these batteries than you would out of alkaline so uh, a couple of different arguments there environmentally it's much better economically it's much better so i was really happy with these now here's what's interesting in the information it says the lifespan of this battery shouldn't or the charge time the three and a half hours that i got out of this should actually improve with use. They said the first couple of charges, the battery is not up, it won't hold its full capacity, won't run as long as it will after a couple of charges. That was my first charge. So I may actually get a full four hours out of these batteries, which will put it right on par with a, an alkaline battery. I think that's pretty impressive. Impressive enough that I wanted to bring this video to you just to put the, this out there as an option that Yes, we do. would like to have some simple flashlights running off of AAAs and AA batteries. I have a couple that I'll bring into, be bringing to you in reviews, but I just didn't like the idea of recommending something with a throwaway battery. So now you have an accessible, rechargeable battery for running those simpler flashlights with. All right, let's wrap this video up. All right, as I mentioned, this was just intended to be a short video. In fact, I wasn't actually going to do a full video on the high quick charger and battery batteries. I was just going to put them in as a mention inside of another video. In fact, that's all HiQuick asked me to do. But as I gained experience with these, uh, this charger and these batteries, I thought it actually warrants having its own video. And again, I just put this out there for your consideration. Consider 
consider whether or not you want to invest a little bit of money to get a charger and some rechargeable AAA and AA batteries for your small, simple flashlights or headlamps or whatever it is that other devices that you have that run off of those types of battery. Consider the environment and the impact that throwing away the alkaline batteries has and consider the investment in over time. The return on investment for these, I think, pays out well. I will put the information that I have for this unit, the recharger and the batteries in the, and in the video description, as well as the link to High Quick, where you can take a look and see if it's something you want to invest in. And as I mentioned, I will put a link to the Hobotech video if you want to watch the extensive testing he did on rechargeable batteries and the outcome he arrived at. All right, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section below. But as always, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.